Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with another cracking Game Pass debug menu. Couple of minutes instead of couple of hours find with Genesis Noir. Now, hear me out. I know a lot of us have played this game and got highly confused from beginning to end, but a debug, a debug anyway, menu has been found and all achievements including the DLC ones can be gotten in around 10 minutes or so. The collective sighs, moans and groans I can hear are intense right now. Or is that the neighbours? Uh, nope, it's everyone who had to play this legit. <laughs> eh. So, you do need, by the way, a couple of things I need to tell you now, but you do need a USB or wireless keyboard connected to your Xbox uh, to access said debug menu, but you will still use your normal Xbox controller to control things. Simple, just make sure that you do have a keyboard inside of your Xbox. Last thing, I'm not sure who originally found this, but credit to them, whoever it is, please let me know, again, whoever it is. And also credit goes to M Myrdals G, and again, sorry if I completely butchered the name there, for putting it up on True Achievements, uh, the True Achievements Forum, for everyone to enjoy. So like I said, if you're yet to play this, this is brilliant, because it'll get you an easy couple of achievements done in 10 minutes. So let this, let's get an egg omelette cracking, shall we? And the first thing we're going to do is press the A button, and press the X button 12 times. That's it for this part to get 12 achievements. When you're on the photo sensitivity warning right here, you'll press the X button 12 times to just get uh, 12 achievements. And that is literally the majority of the base achievements done, apart from the two endings. So that's fantastic. Uh, which, again, I've got no idea. No idea who, who's found this, but it's... Uh, well, it, it saves a lot of confusion and a lot of anger, potentially. But anyway, uh, go and take a look. For whatever reason, my Xbox is being complete douchebaggery at record, um, while recording, which sounds about right for me. But you should now already have 12. So we are going to get the final two and then the um, final three DLC achievements. So what we're going to do then, on your keyboard, you're going to press Ctrl, Shift, and L. We're going to select level here. Go down to ending. Should be close to the bottom. There it is. So ending. So control shift and L, select level ending, select start at, and then the alone timeline, uh, second from bottom. Alone timeline, which, uh, well, to be fair, that's like most of us, isn't it? We feel so alone. How depressing is that? But anyway, that will get you the first ending achievement. And if you're wondering exactly what's happening, you basically have a chance to have an affair with a woman thing or not. I don't even know. Still, for the next one, once that achievements are done, we're going to exit, we're going to go back to the menu here, select level, we're going to go back to ending, with control, shift and L, and then start at a fair timeline. See, so, if you've played the game, you know exactly what I mean, she's like this woman that you have an affair with, or something or other, I yeah. Anyway, that's the two of those done, now we do actually have to play the game just a little bit, uh, which isn't too bad, so again, we can press the start. Button, go back to the main menu here by exiting, and then we're going to press the Ctrl, Shift, and L button. Select level. Hubble 01, these are the three DLC levels, so Hubble underscore 01, select start at, cutscene, finding GB03. So finding GB03, which would be the third from the bottom there, and this one actually isn't too bad, you don't actually have to do anything in this particular one. Uh, old Mr. Mackie Elvis Presley looking dude right here is going to be all like, Oh, you're the photo, man. And we're going to be like, right, okay, okay, thanks. Golden balls. So you're going to click on the photo. Then you're going to click on the fountain pen. And you're going to click it twice. So you needed to click on items twice in order to progress the story ever so slightly. Um, small head, massive body. Uh, the opposite of Mr. Mackie. We'll put it in his pocket. Then we're going to click on the palm of the hand, the spiral of the palm of the hand. And that will be the first quote-unquote DLC level completed. So, congratulations. God damn, you are flying. You are flying at this. Now, by the way, again, I'm not sure if this has been intended or not. So, obviously, um, it's probably worth doing this as quick as you can, just in case a patch is potentially found. And then you'll miss out on these achievements. Um, but again, just in case, it may be in, it may not be. But anyway, we are going to exit. Now we're going to go for the Observe Achievement, which is the lengthiest one of this video. So again, Ctrl, Shift, and L. Uh, select level, Hubble, 0, 2. And then start at Cutscene, Constellation, Done, 3. 
So cutscene constellation done three again, third from the bottom right there. And then we gotta just join up some stars now, huh? Right, so if you press the A button, you can then move um, anywhere with the left stick. There we go. So your cursor will go and then you'll be able to move. So we'll just start off on this one. This is the trickiest, again, quote unquote trickiest. Press the A button to start it. So what you need to do is join the two stars on the right hand side, then go up. And then from that star, go to the left. Now join the middle star over to the left. And then what you need to do is join the middle star and then put that up. And that is going to be a snake. And we all know a bunch of these in our lives, don't we? <laughs> Hello, snakes. It's a snake. Right, on to the next one then. This is like just a Christmas tree. So start with the bottom, go up, and then just go left, and then up. Oh, we'll try that again. There we go. And then up and around. So basically, it's left, and then you just going around. And that'll be, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, where were you are your branches? Uh, it's not a Christmas tree, but it's a tree of sorts. So snake and tree and job done. Right, now we are going to go to the left, sort of bottom left one, and these these are very easy. All you got to do is just join up the two stars separately. So as you can see, the one line's already done. So we'll just go from left to right. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, uh, just as long as all the stars join up, and it's a bunch of people. Just white people, eh? That doesn't seem very inclusive, does it? Hmm. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Right, anyway, with these two, you're obviously just joining the two stars up together. And what you're going to get is a dubious-looking cigar. Now, that seems more like a um, plug that you insert in places rather than a cigar. But anyway, over to the next one. You are going to just join up all the three stars. And that will reveal Am's gun. And for the final one, all we're going to do then is... Uh, start off from the bottom right star, go down, and then go up, all the way, and then to the left, and that will reveal a big giant fruit basket, but kind of looks like a trumpet fruit basket or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right, so after this one is done, when we can, we're going to click on the light below us, and we're going to head back all the way down to Earth, and then what you're going to do is press, the, uh, press and hold the A button, and then go all the way to the left, click on the star at the top of this Burning Man thing a couple of times. And then eventually he's going to go, bruh, burn. Apparently we've got a big giant mustache now. I mean, that's supposed to be a helmet, I know, but that looks more like an incredible mustache. And after something happened, again, I haven't got a clue what, uh, what we just need to do is click on the items in front of us a couple of times. So first of all, we click on the photograph, not once, but twice, and then the big giant horn thing with the lack of fruit, twice, and then the flame right on the bottom on, on the floor right there. You just need to click on these items twice, and then eventually the hand with the, the giant hand with the spiral in the palm will appear. There she blows, click on the palm, to end the level so yes this is the longest bit of dlc that we have to do but it's still very easy so again just all i would just personally i would like to know what the devs were on at the time of making this because whatever it is bruh chuck some over here man i want to make a game like this uh, but I'm not very talented at making games. So, anyway, last one then. We're going to do the reveal achievement. So, it's once again, we're going to be Control Shift and L, select level Hubble 03. Hubble 03, select start at Interaction Constellation Puzzle 3. So, Interaction Constellation Puzzle 3. So, that'll be, again, that'll be the fourth one from the end. And this one's very easy. So, what we're going to do when we are on this beautiful little looking spatial planet... Go down, you see the four circles at the bottom there, we're going to interact and click on the bottom one. And then all we got to do, again, we just got to move and follow this path. So again, press the A button to hold on, and then just move left until you are following the path. It's a snake. Eventually it will loop the loop and pull, and shoes are looking key. And once you have found the spaceship, you're going to click on this a couple of times. A cutscene's going to happen of some sorts, and that's pretty much it. So... Isn't that just unbelievable? Click on the photograph here twice, 
eh, my eyeballs. And then he goes off and he goes off and cries like uh, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Chalmers is at home right now, crying like a little girl. All the school kids laugh. You know, you've seen The Simpsons. You know what I'm episode I'm on about. So click on the spiral, and that will end Genesis Noir. Now, again, if you haven't played this, you're probably like, what was all the fuss about? But for those who have played this, i.e. me, of course, I did put up a 100% achievement guide. We're currently scratching our heads going, you son of a monkey's on a blur. But there we go. So, it's a nice easy one. We've got all achievement. You should now have all achievement. So, if you didn't play this and the first time you're playing it, then uh, congratulations on another easy 1000 from Game Pass. But that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. <coughs> uh, hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and everyone who interacts with me daily. And I shall see you in the next Game Pass game slash debug menu, probably in the near future. <laughs> Big love, everyone. Big love.